Alright. My name is Joe. My name is Kieran. And I'm Adam. And do you want to say your internet names? Well, okay. Uh, Adam, <laughs> a.k.a. Baofu, a.k.a. Koshi, a.k.a. EPA Regulations. Right. Shame. But we're gonna call him Adam. Um, I'm so, Cheese Man. Yes, and I'm on the internet sometimes. This is, uh, <laughs> Bud Tucker in Dubla Trubla. Uh... That's the French version? We're doing a Let's Play of this. It is our first and quite possibly only Let's Play. Ever. Yeah. Ever. And we'll talk about it more once the beautiful intro's over. We're gonna still talk over some of this, though, because we're pretty sure Buster this is a Jeff. shitty game. And you're not missing much. Yeah, we'll explain what you need to know. There's a depressed man walking in front of the pizza you like. And it's a pizza place. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah! I didn't know! It's you yet. can tell by the, the big pizza on the phone and the building. Pizza you like, a song, a smile, and an anchovy Where's pizza. the song? Pizza you... Ah, bud. It is finished. Nah, nah. This guy talks entirely with his eyebrows. He has a chair. <laughs> Who noticed that it, it looks like he's having a phone call with the chair? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, Because yeah. there's a line on the other in the middle. Um, of... He says he wants one of his special pizzas, which if you've seen, what's that movie where that just means the guy's gonna come have sex with you? Oh, uh, big a, sausage pizza, I think? <laughs> oh, th well that might be what you order. Oh, There's a movie from, I think, the 90s. Yeah. So this game is bad, from, uh, <laughs> as far as we can tell. You can notice Bud Tucker is very clearly Marty Mc... Well, I don't know, is it? I mean, it's, he's, or is it, he's an original character! He's supposed to be Marty McFly. He's very original much character, so. do not steal. And his his friend is a is a doctor of sorts, oddly. His prep prof, F. Goonhilly. Yes. And, uh, and he's also Brendan Small, at the as right. you can see from his shoes. And uh, Bud Tucker decides to go to uh, Maniac Mansion, as featured in... Day of the Tentacle. And Maniac Mansion. Well, yeah, but it looked like that. Ah, oh, Day of the come Tentacle. Come in, come in. You've bought my pizza? Wunderbar. He didn't even put it in a pants. He didn't even put it in a box. my multidimensional personal pocket transporter. See, he's got a, mu yeah, a dimensional so pocket. Well, I this is someone actually taking, making the effort to... Week. Explain. Explain adventure game mechanics. He's got a personal pocket transporter so, bro, that yeah. the doctor made. This new I, I can appreciate that, trying to make adventure game shit make sense. And and make and apparently, there's an apparently there's an elephant in there somewhere. Yes, that's right. He, right, he lost his elephant in there, he says. Wow. The cat on the it top's horrible. Great, Every once in a while it stands like a man. What does it do? Do? As opposed to a woman. Watch this. It's clearly a man. The hands also, on the hips. Like, <laughs> <laughs> is there anyone else that looks like a, the ball looks kind of like an hey, animal ball now, and before it looks kind of like a, a mushroom jar? To destroy it does look a bit animal-like, doesn't it? Ah, the demonstration <laughs> Wait, is for clearing the ears. The, the shooty machine? Yeah. Oh, well, I see. What the man has done is he's made a duplication uh, cloning this machine duplicator. Look, how? the cat did it. The cat what? did it. So now there are two pizzas. Really two pizzas. You've heard of quantum theory? Quantum the indeterminacy theory. effect? Well, Professor, spare me the physics. Well, Just think of the possibilities. Well, you could solve the world's food problems. Maybe we Double could the number of pizzas baked in a day. No, I can't. That's not how clones work. My I'm sorry. Clonering. But copying people You can hear a bag. It's because I'm taking donuts out of a bag. <laughs> Let's play. Let's play donuts. Hold on a second. Donuts. Now we can play. We'd have no memory. And we'd have to be taught you don't, everything again. You don't have to do that. Perhaps it's just as well. Imagine if someone copied Lady Prime Ministers. Lady Prime Ministers? What if someone copied Lady Prime Now watch this spider. Why did it happen? <laughs> <laughs> Here come the two ugliest, worst voiced oh, Arnold personages. Which is weird because they're all Arnold, you even really the doc guy is Arnold. Careful. And also, well. it was a most unfortunate yeah. mistake to use a Yeah, these guys are horribly designed. Their heads just look Not the most placed on, um, they're just squished in there. Yeah. Um, I think that might be wire the design tap. choice, but Isn't it's a like poor design. Yeah, 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 that's what I was getting at. The Colonel Clink guy. Yeah, um, if you're British, oh, well, you gotta listen to this. Real easy. All I needed to do was. Uh... Shut up, English. Yeah, shut, 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 shut up, Shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut up, shut up. Um, yeah, this was the time where probably a considerable amount of these people were just developers. They just said, come on in. Come on in, Rick. Come in the back here. Record something for us. Because this is a British development team. Wasn't that also the. I could never tell. 
Yeah. Wasn't that also the norm for the day back in the 90s? Yeah, just, just throw the develop. Yeah, like King's Quest V is, one, is such a horribly voice acted. It was, that was one of the first ones, I think. Uh, I like cartoons, too. To some extent, maybe, yeah. yeah. But King's Quest V is an amazing example because it's some... Um, it sounds like shit, but it was just like, we've got voices! Who cares? <laughs> it's great. Um, the bad guy is voiced by, I believe his name is pronounced Rick Mail. Um, and if you're British, you might know who he is. Um, he's a comedian. He was important once. The only thing I've seen him in was The Young Ones, which is the most impenetrably British thing I've ever seen in my life. It, it took years off my life just seeing two or three episodes. I couldn't understand what was happening or anything. Uh, yeah, you can't even smoke cigars. Yeah, and, and they clearly, and yeah, The Young Ones, it was just, I think it was like Thatcher era horribleness and it hurt my head. And I, I, I know some English people out there probably have respect for Rick Mel for whatever the hell he did. I, as far as I know, he sucks, in my opinion. Um, Oh, and this just cuts. This everything's gone now. Pizzas are drippy. melted. I don't like cats. Big Al strip it's, uh, joint. Starring and he finds a card for a strip Street joint. Barry Bill. This is a naughty Wait, was game. it a card or was it a bat book? Oh, it's a book. Where they the professor. Look at that stupid cat. There's only one way to find out. But yeah, Rick. So Who's yeah, Rick Mail. They clearly like spent their money on getting Rick Mail. Yeah. And probably CD that's Street where Barry all the money went. And step really, on it. This guy. Hey, this taxi's done 200,000 miles. Would you ask your grandma to run in the Olympics? All he said was step on it. Go to the strip club, step on it. Oh, I hate you. Where the hell are they black taxis? Well, and this is the funny thing, too. This is clearly supposed to be set in the U.S., but they're so... It's not even trying. I mean, it's... And my Macy's discount vouchers. My Macy's discount vouchers. They Macy's, but I'll leave use the word vouchers instead of coupons. So nobody's weird. Now this and look at this car animation, which is just like lifted from Day of the Tentacle, just poorly done. But yeah, so much of this, the art is clearly somebody who played Day of the Tentacle. So wait a second, he jumped off the tree. And I don't know why any of this is happening. Why are we watching this car go crashing into? The, I don't understand why this happens. Oh, and then we crash into a hotel, and that's what we call an inciting incident. <laughs> Hey, it could happen. <laughs> and it's a cow font. Somebody just picked that they had a bunch. Now, and then you're just in the game. We I think it actually and... might have been clouds in the sky. Oh, is it clouds? Well, it just yeah. looks far Over too much. devil bubbles. Yeah. Yeah. So there's that says T on it. I never noticed. So, Joe, tell us about your history with this I'm gonna game. I'm going to tell you my history with this game. Um, Kieran's going to... Oh, do you need to change the, the... Yeah, you've noticed the interface at the bottom is ugly and horrible. And you can hit F1 to change it to something still really shitty, but oh, arguably actually, better. Yeah, because yeah. you can actually know what the, what things, the are. things are. But it's still really antiquated. It's a combination of kind of Sierra and LucasArts style. It clearly wants to be LucasArts, but you can actually right-click to, to cycle through verbs. Um, so it's it's supposed to be. It's a little bit of both. Mm. Um But yeah, Kieran, you can, if you want, click it. We've got subtitles now. There were no subtitles on the movies. Uh, but at this point... I wouldn't point, want to sleep in that. <laughs> he doesn't want to sleep in that. Obviously. Some of the subtitles are really bad. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff that just isn't right, uh, as you may notice. Um, I wouldn't risk going in there. Yeah. Here, open it, because you guys don't even know what... Right? I'll explain to you what this is. You can. It goes really fast. Yeah, oh, that's the taxi. It's the taxi! You can't go out because the taxi crashed through the... Uh, and if you try it again, he won't open it now. But, um... I never got that. Just as yeah. well, I have the brains and you have the look. It is nice of him to compliment you in that manner. Yeah, totally. But, um, Hopefully yeah, this game, my history more. with this game is there, and he, and he yeah. grabs his crotch like every five seconds and makes the most disgusting face. He's got, yeah, no, no, he's is, he is very, he is very concentrating, and he is concentrating very hard and rubbing his balls. Rubbing his balls. He does it a lot. Um, but, yeah, my history with this game, you can play-ish, I suppose, uh, while I blather, because we have the subtitles. Um... Yeah, I played this game. I stayed with a friend for quite some time. We were both seasoned adventure gamers. We would, I would call us. Um, I, we've both played. We both played probably all the big Lucas Arts kind of games. Um, Is that what they're calling no it now? Jelly juggling after midnight. And we. Uh, the hotel rules. Oh, so Let's stupid. see. Um, we played a lot of the big adventure games, and I played a lot of the really obscure ones, too. I played, like, Sanitarium, I played way too many of the Sierra the games, considering there's only, like, two or three that are any good. No um, and so we thought ourselves pretty hot shit, and we Ew. played a... Oh. We played a bunch of terrible adventure games together, my friend and I. We played um, through frickin' Gabriel Knight 2, which is a horrific adventure into the days of horrible like mm. FMV attempts at games. It's really 
quite poor. Book of Fish. Uh, we played which The Whispered World, which some people think is good, but they are wrong. Um, and then we grabbed this, handle. and we said, well, nobody will know anything about this, and we'll try it, and we'll be good at this. It'll be easy. And as seasoned adventure gamers, we together could not get out of this fucking room. And then I just one day set Kieran here. Kieran's going to be the one playing the yeah. whole time. Adam and I are just well, commentating on this. Um, and I set Kieran up with the, the game, Gideon and I left the room, and I there's think, what, 15, hotel. 20 minutes, the motherfucker had gotten out of the room. And Kieran literally solved this room in like five seconds. Uh, I don't see any way to so open. Kieran apparently, and he has in the past shown this to be true, even though adventure games weren't exactly your bread and butter, uh, you know how to do them, and you understand the, the sort of absence, the, the illogic that runs many poorly designed adventure games. I, hold on one second. I just want to notice that I didn't even know that Band-Aid was just there. Oh, yeah? I just moused yeah. over the sink, and suddenly I saw Band-Aid. So we've got ha, Pixel ha. Hunting. Ha ha, Pixel Ditching. Pixel Hunting was a good thing. Wait, we should find out when this was done, but this must have been the 90s. It clearly was after Day of the Tentacle, because they did not. Mm -hmm. They clearly ripped this art style off of LucasArts and not vice versa. Oh, I need to open this up. You do. Yeah. The lights are on, but no one's Look home. at no ones. <laughs> look at the spelling. Yeah. Um, yeah, pause this video and have a look at it. Uh, so, yeah, it's just, th there's a general uh, a lack of logic, and this is, of course, a problem that plagued much of 90s adventure gaming, much of adventure gaming on the whole, but uh, I, I, we're, we're actually going to kind of play this game blind. We only played a bit of the beginning. We never got through part one. So, yeah. for Who now, knows? Kieran kind of knows what to do. No, you shattered. have to say it like, Pop We kind of know what to do at this juncture, um, but we are very quickly going to get into blind playing. Ugh, I don't think it's been washed so in months. So, we are expecting this game to be shit. Yeah. Um, we're, we could be wrong, and it could turn out to be beautiful and wonderful. And the but not my type. Yeah, but Mitt Romney might also turn out to be president. <laughs> so, we're topical! Woo! <laughs> topical! Uh, what is, mm. I also like to point out that of all the weird and wacky things that you've got in this hotel room, you can't like look at or interact with like any of them. Yeah, for, yeah. I mean, what the fuck is up with that bug on top of the weird. on top of the uh, door? So yeah. I want to have one of those. In one of and my, you can't in my interact room. with the closet that's bang. It's just yeah. supposed to freak you out. <laughs> Joking, yeah. funny stuff. And and also the fact that in this room, this is the first room of the game, and it's. But uh, it's filled with all this shit that just makes noise. We got yeah, this yeah, crack just, here. Let's be quiet for a second. It's a, it's a noisy, noisy room it's, filled with a, a eternally two things that that just go back and forth, yeah. and then occasionally the closet, <laughs> and, and then and some very noisy ants. Yeah, is that right. oh because yeah. meow meow. Those, that? That's supposed to be ants. And those yeah, like, maybe it's the mouse. That's they're also a... walking around over here. And there's also, see that black line? I guess it's a burn on the top, bottom right of the rug. It, you know, that's the kind of thing when you're playing these games that is really mean to do because you go, that's got to be a thing. And you pixel hunt and you try yeah. to pick this shit up and it's nothing. You know? Um, and the, the, we've already established that there's a shit ton of pixel hunting in this game. Yeah. So... It begs the question if it's possible to miss something because right. Well, so far, we're, far as we know, you can't die. I don't think you can, and I think you can get back to this room. I'm pretty sure once yeah, you get out. Yeah, I'm sure you can. Yeah. See, this is the the first thing is that we never figured out, or Joe couldn't. Figure I could out. not figure this out either, my friend. How to? Yeah. Hey, great view. That's that's wonderful. And then you try and open it. Have, I completely have, missed it. You do have to at some point try all his stuff that. Um, it just won't open. You know, you've got to hear all his, oh, I can't do that uh, lines. I guess we will, we'll we'll hear them gradually, though. I can't talk to the window. Because, no, I guess you can't talk to can't talk to anything. Um, all these pointless suggestions. He's just a fucking dick. In, like, in, yeah. in ways I don't think I've ever seen an adventure game character be a prick. That's impossible. Uh, and here's also good. Here, here's use. What, what's the difference between use and open? Apparently, well, reality has eluded you again. He's such a prick. It... You know, but some some of this stuff, I mean, you, I can't just entirely wonderful. fault it for because some of this was just all adventure games. Try something else. More like this. Like the, this, way mm -hmm. too many verbs still. So now, Kieran, tell me how you figured soap. this out. My favorite. I picked up the soap, and when I did, I just thought, well, maybe the window needs to be greased open. So I picked up the like soap. soap. My favorite. I can't skip this. Okay, here we go. Open soap. Use soap with window. Oh, oh, now he's greased it open. Hey, it looks cleaner, cleaner already. Cleaner, which doesn't even tell you what it did, but... 
But, you know, this is the thing. It's amazing to me you have this ability to figure this out because I... <laughs> I'm soap greasing the window? What? That doesn't work yeah, for me. Oh, well, you've, you've never had something get stuck and you just soap it to kind of... Like, like a, like a ring on your finger. No. Or, a, or a cock ring yeah, on your yeah. finger. Yeah. That, well, yeah, you wouldn't want it there. there. You wouldn't oh, want he's it there. insulted you for it. That's true, you're right. You wouldn't want to get it off. He insulted your ability to play the computer games. He did indeed.